applications are now open for Kentucky Cannabis Business License, you guys. That's right. Kentuckians can now begin applying for a cannabis business license, and medical providers can apply to Kentucky's Board of Medical Licensure and Board of Nursing for permission to write cannabis prescriptions. This is thanks to a bipartisan House Bill 829 that became law during this year's legislative session and moved up the medical cannabis timeline from January 2025 to July 1st, 2024. In 2023, the legislature legalized medical marijuana for Kentuckians suffering from chronic illnesses, patients who qualify with a history of post-traumatic stress disorder, uh, cancer, or other approved medical conditions. But it still won't be able to apply for cannabis cards until January 1st. Applications will remain open until August 31st, and there are a limited number of licenses that the state will distribute to cultivators and dispensaries, and winners will be chosen in a lottery system. Kentucky will award 48 licenses to dispensaries in 11 regions across the state, 10 to processors, and 16 to cultivators. Lottery winners are expected to be announced in October, and Governor Andy Bashir's previously said, uh, filing the applications via lottery, Bashir said in April, is a way to keep the process more equitable. In a quote, it creates a more fair process, he said, not one where people bid against each other and only then the big companies can be a part of it. Applicants will be required to pay an application fee and provide documentation, including business history, operating plans, and financial information. In a quote, the program is focused on ensuring cannabis Businesses licensing is fair, transparent, and customer service orientated, St. Sam Flynn, executive director of the Kentucky Office of Medical Cannabis, said in the statement. Representative James Neems, Republican from Middletown, the primary sponsor of HB 829, said the new timeline is the culmination of a long effort to provide for the safe use of medical marijuana to provide relief to Kentuckians suffering from pain and disease. In an additional quote, we're taking the regulatory process seriously, Neems said and looking forward to seeing it move forward well 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 I, i'm a little bit disappointed that they don't have a cornbread mafia social equity program in kentucky and they're creating this in this way but nonetheless i can't wait to hear what you guys have to say about this maybe this is a more corn fed program as opposed to cornbread that's, oh that's cute you like that real cute right. real cute matthew st germain would you go to kentucky and apply for a license no, sir. I am a California baby. I've tried other places, and I'm like I'm like Goldilocks, dude. Everywhere else is either too hot or too cold. A little Saint Germain. Little Saint. Mm-hmm. Germain. It's great news. We need cannabis everywhere, and and we need to continue to evolve the consciousness of humans. Mm-hmm. I think this is good news. I know Kentucky has a huge hemp game, and and what I'm really hoping to see is a lot of this uh, the legalization of of cannabis um, leading to with hemp doing what they're supposed to be doing. You know, everybody's trying this. I'm going to make smokable hemp or mm-hmm. a lotion and make all this money. What we really need from hemp is we need paper, we need clothing, yeah. we need uh, infrastructure hemp based products like waterproofing, building safe materials. waterproofing, safe paints, mm-hmm. and building materials like yeah. we've said on the news. The uh, Department of Housing has okayed hempcrete and hemp fiberboard for building. And I'd like to see people, I'd like to see farmers making a sustainable living, mm-hmm. U.S. agri and industrial business making a living and supporting factory and other workers that are making good money and having benefits by creating hemp products that are actually making our country less toxic and more healthy and safer. That should be part of the Green New Deal right there, Matthew St. Germain. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Agreed. Great timing, Mm -hmm. Donnie. We need to move swiftly and effectively into an, an evolutionary higher future or the earth is going to kick our ass. I'm all about a higher future. I can future. feel it pressing down. I just took a, a macro dose of mushrooms this weekend, and once again, it was a, one of the only things I could see for a several-hour period that I couldn't look away from is there's there's a, some dastardly stuff that's been going on this, this planet for about the last 10,000 years. Mm-hmm. It's been orchestrated and organized, and the Earth is and its, and its species and its beings are calling to us to make it right, or they're going to do it for us. Uh-oh. Mm. This message was brought to you by... Psychedelics. <laughs> the Count St. Germain, who's been walking this planet for thousands upon thousands of years. That's right. He floats. 